for a unique breakfast or lunch sandwich or perhaps a great cup of coffee or latte. Pressed Coffee and Books has what you're looking for. Abby, what are you making for us today? You have all kinds of fun things. We do. We're making something special. We do, yeah. So our main thing from day one has always been coffee and also crepes. So we're gonna make a crepe today. This is a popular one that we do is a fluffernutter crepe, mm -hmm. but we just started doing something fun where it's a secret menu. If you come in and ask our baristas what the secret menu is for that week, we're gonna tell you. So this is a secret menu item for just this week. So when we're making crepes, we always Start with the oil, just so it's not sticky anywhere. So we're using like vegetable oil? Yep. All right. Just regular old vegetable oil. Okay. Just don't want to ever do too much because sometimes it can get a little smoky because it yeah. doesn't need much. These machines are really made. Yeah, that's a really fun machine. Smooth. I wish Isn't I it? had one of those at home. Yeah, they're real simple <laughs> too. It's This is all a matter of just the technique. So once we have a little bit of batter on there, you go slow and kind of just let it set in the middle a little bit and then drag it around to get as close to a perfect circle shape as you can. What does the batter consist of? For the batter is pretty much like a really thin pancake batter. We always tell people who aren't familiar with crepes, mm -hmm. this is just like making a really thin pancake. Okay. Oh, look at how pretty it is. Yep. You just tap a little on the edges and it comes together real simple. And then for the fluffernutter, we add peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And for us, we're always working in this little triangle because you are gonna fold the crepe oh, in right. on itself. Mm -hmm. Marshmallows we always do first with our fluffernutter or with our uh, s'mores one because then they get nice and toasty. So bananas aren't normally on the fluffernutter crepe, but on our secret special one, we started adding them ourselves. And yeah, then that is good. I love to add a little bit of graham cracker on top, Ooh, nice. which is also something that goes on. The fluffernutter crepe and the uh, s'mores crepe are real similar. So oh, then you just fold great. it in half, mm -hmm. let it set there, and then we use our spatula to create like a little triangle mm -hmm. there and it makes it fold in. Real simple. It, it's nice, it's pretty substantial too. Yeah, so we always flip it to the other side so that that, almost like a panini press, so it right. gets real stuck together. Okay, so you wrap it and put it in a little, oh, yep. so you can kind of holders. hold it in your hand. Yep, so these holders are made, this is actually a secret tip too, do you wanna hear this? There's a little tab on these, so it peels off and almost like an ice cream cone, oh, you can like undo it the whole way. Nice. Kids love that, because it's like a big spiral at the end. Nice. So yes, these are our crepes savory, sweet, kind of do a little bit of everything. We actually just started offering our savory ones on baguettes and focaccia and bagels, so you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Or like I said, always ask your barista for the secret menu. Abby, thank you so much for having us today here at Press Coffee and Books. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit more about it? Sure, so we opened up about three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it was December of 2018. So we've added a lot since then, including roasting our own coffee in-house. That just nice. started a couple months ago. So our specialty and our focus has always been really good coffee. We have homemade caramel, homemade vanilla that we make, our lavender syrups homemade, all of that's amazing. Wow. But we try to let the coffee shine through. So that's really important to us. We also have a whole list of drinks that are not coffee-based. Mm -hmm. Steamers in the winter, which is just like steamed milk of your choice, and then one of our homemade syrups. Nice. It's almost like a warm milkshake. So it's press coffee and books. Yep, that's right. So we started as a coffee shop and a used bookstore. So all of our used books in the back section um, and some scattered out up front are used books, usually from donations, library book sales, estate sales, lots from my own collection. If I'm being really honest, I love to buy books and then donate them back here. So we are located in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. um, right on the corner of Mahantango Street, and we are right across from the uh, new parking garage. And on social media, we're Pressed Coffee and Books on both Instagram and Facebook, and social media is usually where all of our specials hit, we post about them all the time, sales, all that kind of fun stuff. Excellent. Yep. Abby, we can't thank you enough for having us, and we really yeah, had a good thank time. You. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. You're welcome.